Okay, so we're going to continue solving problems for elimination of arbitrary constant by differentiation and combination. So this is the second part of our solved problems. So if you missed the first part, I would suggest na panoorin nyo muna yung previous video natin bago tayo mag-proceed para mas maintindihan ninyo why and how are we solving problems similar like this by differentiation and combination. So, by the way, this is the fifth part of our lecture videos for differential equations, although this is the second part of our subject, elimination of arbitrary constant. So, today we will be solving this problem, which is a little bit more complicated compared to previous problems na sinagutan natin. Ano? So, let us start. We have here y is equal to e to the x times c1 cosine 2x plus c2 sine 2x. So, you can actually differentiate this immediately, no? So, you can differentiate the left side and the right side of our equation. However, medyo mas magiging mahaba yung ating solution if you're just going to do that. So, although hindi siya mali, you can still proceed on that, pero medyo mahaba yung procedure na yun. So, I would suggest to transpose itong ating e to the x to the left side of our equation. So, we will have here y e to the negative x is equal to c1 cosine 2x plus c2 sine 2x. Okay, so we shifted e to the x to the left side para kapag uh, dinifferentiate natin, ito lang yung medyo mahaba. No? So, it will be easier for us. So, now, we are going to differentiate both sides. So, we are going to take the derivative of y e to the negative x and the derivative of c1 cosine 2x plus c2 sine 2x. Okay? So, we are going to take the derivative of both sides. Okay? So, simulan natin dito sa left side ng ating equation. So, we will have y the derivative of e to the negative x plus e to the negative x, then the derivative of y. Right? So, this is equal to um, c1, then the derivative of cosine 2x plus c2, then the derivative of sine 2 X. Okay, so, pinakita ko lang sa inyo yung uh, mangyayari dito, no? Kasi, uh, para hindi tayo diretso na lang na sinosolve natin yung mga problems. But, uh, as we go on, hindi ko na ito isusulat. Yung pinakita ko lang sa inyo how we are going to approach such problem, ano? So, let us now proceed here. So, we have y, then the derivative of e to the negative x, which is e to the negative x times the derivative of negative x, which is negative 1. Then, plus e to the negative x times the derivative of y, which is y prime. Equal to c1, the derivative of cosine 2x, which is negative sine 2x, times the derivative of 2x, which is 2. Then, plus c2, the derivative of sine 2x, which is cosine 2x times the derivative of 2x, which is 2. So, in here, as you can see, we have negative y e to the negative x plus uh, e to the negative x y prime. And this is equal to negative 2 c1 sine 2x then plus 2 c2 cosine 2x. Okay? We still have two arbitrary constant here, c1 and c2. And as we know, if our problem is having two um, arbitrary constant, we are expecting to have second derivative here, no? So, now we can again get the derivative, no? So, this will be our second derivative. So, how are we going to do that? We're going to take the derivative of the left side and the right side of our equation. So, we have d over dx of negative y 
e to the negative x plus e to the negative xy prime. Then the derivative of uh, negative 2 c1 sine 2x plus 2 c2 cosine 2 x. Okay? So, now if I'm going to uh, proceed on this na ganito pa rin ang susulat ko, no? ilalagay ko pa rin yung d over dx, mapapahaba tayo masyado. So, I will not be writing that anymore. I will just proceed with our solution, ano? Since naipakita ko naman na sa inyo kung paano yan nakukuha. So, first, I will take the derivative of negative y e to the negative x, okay? So, we will have negative y, then the derivative of e to the negative x, which is e to the negative x, times the derivative of negative x, which is negative 1, then plus e to the negative x, times the derivative of negative y, which is negative y prime. Okay, so at this point, ito pa lang yung nakukuha na natin ng derivative, no? So now, we are going to take the derivative of this term, okay? So, first, meron tayong y prime, so plus y prime, then the derivative of e to the negative x, times the derivative of negative x, which is negative 1, and then plus e to the negative x, times the derivative of y prime, which is y2 prime. Alright, so nakuha na natin yung derivative ng term na to. Okay, so now, we're going to take the derivative of this side, sa nasa right side ng ating equation. So, sulat ko na siya sa ibaba kasi masyado ng maliit yung space natin. Ano? So, I will have negative 2 c1, then derivative of sine 2x which is cosine 2x times the derivative of 2x which is 2. Okay, then plus 2c2, then the derivative of cosine 2x which is negative sine 2x times the derivative of 2x which is 2. Okay, so simplify natin yung ating mga nakuha. So, we have here negative y e to the negative x times negative 1. So, we will have positive y e to the negative x. Then, plus e to the negative x times negative y prime. So, we have minus y prime e to the negative x. Then, here we have y prime e to the negative x um, minus 1. So, we will have negative y prime e to the negative x. Then, plus y2 prime e to the negative x. And then, dito naman sa right side, we have negative 2 times 2 will be pa, uh, negative 4. So, negative 4 c1 cosine 2x. Then, negative sign din tayo rito. So, minus 4 c2 sine 2x. Okay? So, Simplify natin itong ating um, left side. So, meron tayong parehong y prime e to the negative x. So, we can combine this. No? So, we have um, y e to the negative x. So, minus y prime e to the negative x minus y prime e to the negative x. So, we have minus 2 y prime e to the negative x. Then, plus y2 prime e to the negative x is equal to, then here, as you can see, pareho tayong may negative 4, so we can factor that out, so negative 4 times c1 cosine 2x plus um, c2 sine 2x, okay? Now, something here that I would like you to notice is, we have here c1 cosine 2x plus c2 sine 2x, which is actually the same as this one. Okay, so kung natatandaan ninyo, sineparate natin to. Okay, and this is what we have here. C1 cosine 2x plus C2 sine 2x. Okay, C1 cosine 2x plus C2 sine 2x. So that means this is actually equal to y 
e to the negative x, di ba? So, we can substitute the value of this to y e to the negative x. Okay? Because we know that this is equal to y e to the negative x. Okay? And this is based from original equation na nakuha natin or given kanina, di ba? So, we can substitute that dito sa ating equation. So, we will have here y e to the negative x minus 2 y prime e to the negative x plus y2 prime e to the negative x is equal to negative 4 times y e to the negative x. Okay, so one thing that I would like you to again notice is lahat ng term natin dito sa left side, meron tayong e to the negative x. So therefore, we can factor that out, di ba? So we have e to the negative x times y minus 2y prime plus y2 prime is equal to negative 4y e to the negative x. Alright, so... Dividing both sides by e to the negative x, so our e to the negative x will be cancelled out. Okay, if we divide both sides by e to the negative x. So, aning may iwan sa atin? Uh, I will write first the y2 prime, no? Para sunod-sunod yung ating mga variable. So, we have y2 prime minus 2y prime plus y is equal to negative 4y. So, we can still simplify this because we have y on the left side and y on the right side. So, we have y2 prime minus 2y prime plus y plus 4y is equal to 0. So, therefore, we will have here y2 prime minus 2y prime plus 5y is equal to 0. And this is our final answer here. So, as you can see, we remove our arbitrary constants C1 and C2. So, this is our final answer. Okay? So, we will be answering more problems on elimination of arbitrary constant by differentiation and combination on our next video. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.